Okay, welcome back everyone. As you can see, it's a tight squeeze, but they do fit. Um, I'm having to sort of squeeze in order to get them in. So let's try I'm have to bend the dagger a bit. It's going to make a very nice splash when it gets in. In it goes and straight away the jewels come off, but that's okay. And straight into the red paint but it hasn't affected the design in any way shape or form apart from one of them's now lost still exactly the same design as it previously was and now we're going to add the final bit, hopefully, um, which I think is just going to be done with the tube of paint, I think, rather than try and be clever. So we're going to grab the tube of paint and we're going to go over all of the images to create are oh, glorious over the dagger as well doesn't matter if it goes on the edge can't get any on the dagger there we go and over the dagger like that so we've got a nice made it nice and gory gouge of blood on the hand a little bit on here which can easily be rubbed off with some tissue which I'll do later but we've got some on the dagger some on the hand some on the witch's hat and some on the quill and now all that's left to do is decide whether we carry on with the tree in the middle I think which is a good idea why don't you guys comment down below? Eee, my hand's bleeding. <laughs> Why don't you guys comment down below, see what you suggest. And uh, But for now, we finally finished our Macbeth one. I'm going to close the lid before any dust go in. And hopefully everything will dry up. But we'll have to see. Fingers crossed. So, stay safe, stay well. And we'll see you guys again very, very soon.